On November 2nd, 2016, I discovered the secret to painting. This is week seven in the fall trimester of my Atelier Diary. So the figure portion of the class, I have my transfer drawing completed last week. So I transferred my drawing onto my canvas and did the first wash. And I mixed up the shadow color and I applied that to all the shadow areas and really kept edges in mind to make everything look as naturalistic as possible. During the first wash day, I always wanna try and make that first wash look as good and up to the same level as my transfer drawing. So that was my goal to keep the drawing in mind. And I also took paper towel and I rubbed off some of the imprimatura, which is the first initial tone on my canvas. And so I took the paper towel and I rubbed off the area that are the lightest sides, so the shoulder and the extended arm and then some areas of the face. Tuesday, I wanted to work on keen my painting. So keen means finding your lightest lights and your darkest darks. I wait and I find my lightest lights later on in the painting, but I want to key the darkest darks as soon as possible. For Delon, the darkest part on him is in his hair, and it's in his hair behind his ear, and then also in his hair that's around the pole. So I just took pure ivory black and put some brush strokes around there so I can see and judge everything off the darkest area. And then so I mix a color for the shadows and I'm judging it off that darkest area. And then I also mix a color for the background and I'm judging the background off of the shadows. So this day is really find the relation is finding the relationship between all the shadows on Jalan and then the background. Wednesday, I forgot to take a picture. There was just too much excitement. So this day I was preparing to start blocking in the painting. So I start in the shadows again and I work out into the dark half tones. And now this is the part where I always get myself into trouble with my paintings. So I've got my shadow, finding the transition between the shadow into the dark half tone. And this is where I get myself into trouble is then finding the transition from the dark half tone into what's next. So the dark half tone then is laid on top of the imprimatura, which is that light tone of the canvas. And where the dark half tone stops and the imprimatura starts, it's too harsh of a contrast. So I feel like I have to mix up a lighter dark to help bring that transition between the dark half tone and the imprimatura. But then the transition then from that lighter half tone to the tone of the canvas still isn't right. So then I mix up another tone and it just keeps happening. And I keep mixing up tone to find a gradual transition so the shadows to the lights make sense. And it ends up that I'm trying to deal with the full range of values then from my darkest darks to my lightest lights, which is kind of throwing all of these steps into painting in one, which I just can't handle yet. Because it's too much, so I totally lose the structure and the drawing that I found the first couple days that I've been working on it, because then it seems more important now to get uh, proper transitions between the darkest darks and the lightest lights that I've put on the painting. And so I, I just end up dropping the ball and kind of destroying everything. And this has been the pattern for all my paintings that I've done where I get a pretty decent transfer drawing. I get a wash on there that looks really good. And the first couple of days I'm focusing on the drawing and like recreating the transfer drawing pretty much on the canvas. But then when I think that, okay, now I'm gonna start painting is where I just try and do everything at once and I just lose it all for a few weeks. And then the last week or the last two weeks, I always find a way to pull everything together and usually have a good result at the end. And so during this time where I'm just in the mindset that I'm painting and I'm putting a, a bunch of paint on my canvas, Magda comes by and she asks, what are you doing? It looks like you're destroying all of the work of your drawing that you just did. And I explain like, well, yeah, I did the drawing part and now I'm in the painting part and I'm trying to get all these transitions. Uh, and all these different steps of the value ranges to make sense with each other and to do that all at once you have to let go of the drawing, right? And she was like, no, there's a much smarter way to do it. So she took my brushes and she showed me in an area how to progress the painting in the part where you're working from the, the, the shadow shape, working the dark half tone, making sure that the transition between the shadow shape and the dark half tone is as much like nature and as much uh, or as close to being naturalistic as you can and then taking the dark half tone and using no other, no other mixtures but just how you're applying the paint to the canvas to let that gradually fade out into the imprimatura. So the shadow is fully covered and then the shadow to the dark half tone is fully covering the canvas but then she was taking the brush uh, and the brush wiping the or there wasn't a lot of paint left on the brush and she would take it and where it faded out more into a lighter tone she would just take the brush and kind of like s scrape it on the canvas and kind of like dab it on or in other places where it was um, 
a harsher transition. I mean, relatively though, the, the whole thing is pretty soft anyways. Um, she would make it like a really soft transitions or a little bit harder transitions, but anything to really just make it look like how life does and how the shadow like uh, gradually transitions into lighter tones as it does on Delon's body. Just using the shadow and the dark half tone and no other mixtures in this stage yet. And she was saying it's just like how I work up a charcoal drawing where it starts in the shadows and as you're slowly figuring everything out with the painting, the drawing is always in mind of the the, the shapes of the tone that you're working with, like the tone of the shadow and how that shape transitions into another one, but you're not going to be starting in the shadows and then drawing something that doesn't relate to that in the, the really light areas because that just wouldn't make sense in the steps of how to make a drawing. And so when she said all this and was showing me how she does it, it just clicked for me that that's the secret to painting. And the secret to painting is that painting is just drawing, which I knew that. I mean, they've been telling me that since day one in the program where you do at least two years of drawing and the first day Matt Harden handed me a stick of charcoal and showed me how to properly hold it and he was like, this is your paintbrush. And I thought he was crazy, but everything that we're doing is preparing you not to be a great dra draftsman, which that of course is in the process, but um, all of this drawing is to help you to be a better painter because painting is drawing. And then there's the phrase that he always says and I've adopted as well is that you can only paint as well as you can draw and I knew that before but I feel like something just clicked and this light bulb went off where um, I just understand it in this whole completely different way that it's not like when you start a painting that you're going to be in the drawing stage for just like the initial couple days and then you move away from the drawing stage of the painting into painting the painting but those two concepts of drawing and painting really aren't divorced from each other but really mean the same thing. It's just drawing, you're using charcoal or pencil or whatever, and then with paint it's just a liquid way of drawing. And so now I understand why at the, the beginning and then middle of the painting there was this huge chunk where everything was just confusing because I was trying to do everything at once because I was putting paint on the canvas to just get it to look good but really just completely forgot about structure and drawing and thought that that came secondary then to the painting part until I got the painting to look good and then you kind of like layer drawing. I don't know, it was just like a very divorced way of thinking about two concepts that really are synonyms for each other. So how I develop a drawing should be the same exact way that I develop a painting. There is a slight difference because drawing you really have to build up the darks and you already have your lightest light because that's the paper but instead for painting you can get your darkest dark right away but you have to slowly be building up your lights but everything else is the same where in drawing and painting you should be starting in the shadow shape because the shadow shape really tells the whole story of the painting because it shows the the gesture and structure of the model and so that really is the most important thing is to have a really accurate shadow shape and so in that way, you're never losing the structure, which is another word for drawing. You're never using or losing the drawing, but instead you work the shadow slowly all the way up into the lights. And then when you get into the lights, you just reverse the process and then you work the lights down into the shadow. And then you just go back and forth between shadows into the lights and lights into the shadows. And so that's the secret to painting. It's all about how you would develop a drawing because painting is drawing. And so on Friday, I had painted and I was pretty happy with the shadow shape in relation to the dark half tones transitioning out from that. So then I was working on the next gradually lighter area, which is the relaxed arm that's on the left, the legs up the hip and the back. And so I couldn't get to all of it that day, but I worked on the relaxed arm and then one of the legs. And just thinking about painting in this completely different way, everything else that I was um, really trying to focus my energy on, like with the good painting technique, which I've been talking about uh, in other weeks about how I'm laying the paint down, I didn't have to think about that at all because just, just thinking about painting as drawing, drawing um, all of those things like painting technique really happened really naturally. So I'm liking that the, the brushwork that I'm laying down in those areas and I got the block in between the arm and the leg really fast and um, I wish I could have gotten everywhere but this process is 
still new to me since I just figured this out. Um, so I wanted to take it kind of cautiously, but on Monday I should figure, or I should um, end up getting the other areas that I mentioned like back in the other leg and around the hip. And then I'll work out from those areas then into the lighter lights. That's my exciting week of painting. And so now moving on to the drawing portion, which is working on my transfer drawing of my final cast. This week has mostly been working on the portraits of the angels, which was really needed. I feel like I've got the portraits. I'm pretty happy with all of them. Um, I still want to fix a few spots on some of them, but overall really happy with how the portraits turned out. And Brett, who's our anatomy teacher, he came by on Friday morning and gave my drawing a look over and just gave me his two sets on how he thought I could improve the cast. And it was really all about edge work. And he was saying some areas that I have, the edge work is really good with describing the form of them. But in other areas of the cast, uh, the transitions are just, either there's no transition transitions and things are too sharp or they're just not done sophisticated enough. So things are just getting flattened out and there's really no representation of form then. And also he was commenting on how I was handling the chalk because in some areas on this cast drawing I'll have the chalk right up against a charcoal line and he was saying that really flattens out an area and it doesn't make sense for that to happen because if you're putting chalk down there should always be um, a transition of paper um, before you come again up to the charcoal so that would show the form of something turning rather than it being sandwiched up against each other, which would flatten out the form. So it was all about edges, edges, edges. Um, and it was really nice that Brett gave me his two cents because he doesn't usually critique my work. And this cast is huge and it's complex, but I feel like finally now I have all the main structural parts of it pretty much in order. So now I'm adding details to it. So for example, like the hand that's behind the baby's head on the left and other details like that. And so once I get everything in, I'm going to comb over the whole drawing again, see if I can correct any drawing errors, make sure that the key of the drawing makes sense, and work on edges.